Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with some MLB 2K12 and 30 wins with 30 teams. I haven't done this in a while here, but that's okay. You know, as long as I get around to it and get a chance to win with every single team, I'm going to be happy. Like when franchise is done and over with, all of my franchise games are going to be 30 wins with 30 teams. So excited about that here too. Now we've got Tim Hudson on the mound here for us in this one as we're going up against the Miami Marlins. And Tim Hudson has a good selection of pitches for me to be able to choose from. So I'm hoping we'll be seeing some great pitching in this game and uh, we'll be able to rock the Marlins. All right, so I'm excited too about this because the Braves have been a big part of baseball for me. I have a lot of friends who are Braves fans and a lot of it comes from you know, with, with us being in Nebraska, there's really not too many places that we could go to be able to watch baseball. And so we would have to stick in front of the TV. And, you know, TBS, you always saw the Braves on on TBS. And so for a lot of us growing up, that was, you know, our big, big uh, team to be able to go for, especially at the time when I was growing up, when the Braves were just ridiculously dominant in the 90s. That was something that, you know, it was really exciting. I mean, you got Maddox, Smoltz. Uh, you had, gosh, Chipper Jones. I, I was about ready to say John Rocker, but yeah, the, the Glavin, Smoltz, and Maddox combo, that was phenomenal. I mean, gosh, growing up saying chicks dig the long ball, all that stuff. So I've got a lot of fond memories of the Braves. So this will be kind of cool. Anyway, so in the second inning, this one going deep, Michael Bourne having to run to the wall to get this one. The wall climb, and it is caught. I don't think I really robbed him of anything because it looked like it was going to go ahead and just uh, hit off of the top part of the wall but not go over. So that was still pretty cool, though. I don't get too many of those opportunities. Now, talking about the history of the Braves here, they go back to one of the initial National League teams that uh, had been created that are still in existence right now. The other one is the Chicago Cubs. And the cool thing about the Braves is if you actually look chronologically from its inception, they are the oldest continuously playing team in all of American professional sports. So these guys have been around from the beginning. Now granted, you know, they've moved and things like that over the years, but the organization itself has been there since the beginning. And I think that that's something that, that deserves a lot of respect right there. I mean, yeah, you've got the Cubs who have been there too. They're actually the second oldest, but the Braves, a lot of history, so this is going to be awesome going into. But let's get to the game here. Dan Ugla in the third inning. Nobody has gotten a run quite yet until now. This one going into left field. This is going to be a home run for Dan Ugla. Probably one of the best power-hitting second basemen that you are going to find in the game. I know there are some other ones that can hit pretty well uh, in here as well. But you got to admit, Dan Ugla is up there. Definitely showing what he can do with this home run. And I'm hoping to... You know, be able to keep this lead that I have right now. Granted, it's a solo shot, but having a one to nothing lead is really all that matters at the end of the game here, as long as I have that lead. So appreciate Dan Ugla for doing this one. Well timed, because I was starting uh, to not get too excited about this game, because I've been struggling offensively here. And I know with some of the games that I've been playing lately, you know, it seems to be I've worked things out. This was actually played before I kind of got out of that slump. So glad that I got this taken care of here. It's all about retaining this lead instead of trying to build it. All right, so I was mentioning here that the Braves have kind of moved over the years. They were actually initially founded here in 1871 as the Boston Red Stockings. Now, not the Red Sox, the Red Stockings. They go ahead and change their name to the Red Caps, then the Bean Eaters, which I thought was really, really cool. Then in 1953, they moved from Boston to Milwaukee as the Milwaukee Braves. They first take the name Braves, though, in 1912. And then in 1966, they go ahead and move to Atlanta. So this I kind of give you guys that information here, too, because some people will be like, no, -uh, the Atlanta Braves have been around since 1966. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. If you kind of go through their history and where they've moved, been, things like that. All right, so here we go, a double play, and we get that. Now I was talking about in the franchise video that I did not too long ago. It seems like the computer gets a lot more double plays than I do, and kind of not holding true here. Hayward, though, getting a roller in the center field, and I remember Hayward's first at-bat where it was a home run uh, in 
Major League Baseball. That was pretty sweet. I was like, my gosh, this guy's going to be able to do a lot of good stuff here. Anyway, Freeman hitting this one into the gap. And we're looking at Hayward using his speed here. He'll be going home. I'm going to keep Freeman over there at second as well. Now, I'm kind of hoping that we get to see something out of Chipper Jones in this game because with his, with this being his last season in baseball, I have so much respect for this guy here too. I mean, I'll, I'll kind of go into that here a little bit, but I hope we get to see some Chipper Jones. I think that'd be one of the things to really cap off a great video on this one here. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm glad we're seeing these highlights from everybody else, but I'd like to be able to fit, uh, feature a little Chipper Jones here. All right. Still fourth inning. Runners on first and third. This one going into center field. And now we've got yet another run with runners on first and second now for us here. So a 3 nothing lead here in the fourth. Definitely getting it done. Apparently what Dan Ugla did with that home run earlier. Come on, let me see the highlight. Shoot. So looks like we've got some stuff going here now. And now that I kind of think back on it, I think this game was where my slump really turned around. I'm not heading over to second. I'm going to leave runners on first and third. We got another run coming home, making it four to nothing. So we definitely have some great momentum going right now. Definitely feel like that we've got the pitcher rattled, which means we're probably going to see some more hits. And they might have to go ahead and pull him here pretty early. If so, and if that happens, I always consider that a little bit of a victory here. Even Hudson is getting into the mix here with a hit of his own and an RBI. He must be rattled if Hudson, a pitcher, is going to go ahead and get a hit and an RBI. It's not something that I find too often here, not only in real life, but especially in the game. The attributes that they give him are so low. Man, that would have probably been a home run for somebody else because his, his power is like in the 20s or 30s. I think the highest one that I've seen actually though is Carlos Zambrano. I think his power can end up being in the 60s or maybe even the 70s. I can't remember. All right, so here we go. Marlins getting a hit of their own, just kind of getting things rolling themselves here. So in the fifth inning here, five to nothing still. Wow, I'm loving how this is going. I was not expecting this. All right, so uh, kind of going over, you know, some of the big name players that have played for the Braves over the years. I mean, you got so many of them. Uh, you know, you got Hank Aaron. You know, you got, like I was talking about, Maddox, Smoltz, Glavin. These guys have had their numbers retired. That kind of goes to show, you know, if you have three pitchers at the same time, you know, who are playing, who then get their numbers retired, that just, you know, kind of goes to show what type of, you know, force they were, especially on the mound. So, you know, you kind of go through some of the other names as well that have, you know, been in the Hall of Fame and things like that as Braves. Man. These guys definitely have done some great stuff over the years. Pretty sweet, actually, to see all of these names. And when you got a team with this much history, you know, you'll, you'll be getting names like this here. But anyway, all right, we're going to keep going with the video right here because here we go. This was kind of uh, annoying here because, oh, I make it over to third. Hey, I thought I was going to get out, but apparently not. So bases loaded here with no outs. And what is going to happen? You better believe we're going to be seeing the bases loaded curse here in full force. Yep, a double play, but I am able to get a runner home. Gosh. What do I need to do to break this curse, you guys? Do I need to have some kind of rally cap that I wear? Or... I'll be honest. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to break this curse. I got to find out. I'll have to search that. How to break baseball curse curses here anyway now this could end up being something good for me here in the sixth inning dang it that one goes foul shoot that's not what I was wanting right here oh two count ah foul once again I'm kind of showing this here because this video is going to be really really short and I could have cut this out but decided not to though because bringing somebody else in getting a hit and an RBI. It's kind of nice when you, you know, your uh, pinch hitters come in and they do their job. Not something that I see too or happen too often, but glad that I got it here. Now I'm definitely going to have to uh, kind of be, you know, watching out for pinch hitters and things like that as I, you know, hit the playoffs here with my franchise mode. 
But anyway, we're going to be bringing in a reliever right now because with 30 wins with 30 teams, the whole point of this is to feature a team and not necessarily one particular player. But Dan Ugla getting another hit. Wow, he has been phenomenal this game. But like I was saying, I don't want to feature one particular player. So uh, I'm going to be bringing different people in. Already you can see I am bringing in a pitch hitter right now. So in the eighth inning, runners on first and second. Am I going to have two opportunities here? Nope. Looks like he didn't do his job that time. Wow, what was that, computer? Bases loaded once again for me. Come on. I'm not going to expect too much out of this here, though. Yep. Yep. Nothing's going to happen right there. Of course, I get out. I really would like to see my batting average with the bases loaded. I wish that the computer kept those kind of stats. Like, just you as, as a player, what are your stats? That would be something that would be pretty cool. I wish somebody would uh, kind of listen to this here from either uh, the show or EA Sports or, gosh, anybody else is going to be making a video game. That would be kind of cool just to go back and see what your stats are. Just from pitching and batting. But anyway, that's, that's another video here that we're going to be going in. Uh, that I guess I should make here. Talking about what I'd like to see out of a baseball game, but not 30 wins with 30 teams. That's not what this is for. All right. So, ninth inning now. 7 to nothing lead here over the Marlins. I've got to go ahead and get through this, and I'm hoping that I will you know, be able to go get through this because, honestly, if I see the Marlins get seven or eight runs here, I'm going to be absolutely livid. I will not be happy about this at all. Especially since I've gone through all of this and have to go through and replay the game. All right, so strike two here on the two-seam fastball. And I've got some good pitches to be able to choose from here as well. This is why I always love bringing in the closer because, yeah, you've got maybe two or three pitches to go with, but they are all phenomenal pitches. And it's just a matter of mixing them up here. Just like that, the slider ends up getting me strike number three. And we are one out away from the Braves winning this 30 wins with 30 teams. All right. So this could potentially be the final batter. I'm hoping it's the case. I mean, I don't want this to continue on. And I am kind of sad we haven't been able to see anything with Chipper Jones because I've got a lot of respect for him, like I was saying. I mean, of, of all the pitchers, or I'm sorry, of all the hitters who have been switch hitters over the years, I firmly believe Chipper Jones is one of the best to ever have played the game. And to be able to hear that in this day and age, to say that somebody is one of the best to ever play the game, it's a huge honor, especially somebody coming from me who values history and stuff like that in baseball so much, but, you know, really is one of the top three that you're going to find in all of baseball and a definite first-round Hall of Fame, you know, uh, person here. So it'll be kind of sweet to see um, what happens here with the rest of the year with the Atlanta Braves and Chipper Jones. But anyway, so we do end up getting the win here. I appreciate you guys dropping by. Dan Ugly gets player of the game, and I think rightfully so. He just had a phenomenal game. Um, feel free to subscribe, you guys, if you haven't already. You can go ahead and follow me on Facebook or Twitter as well. Go ahead and like, favorite, share, whatever you want to do with this video here. Comment, do whatever. I'd appreciate anything. But again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. More 30 wins with 30 teams to come. As always, though, you guys, I hope you have a good one.